got a whole bunch of stuff going on today. Brian's over here modifying a 2GR to prep it for install. This is for Rami here. He's getting uh, our basic 2GR naturally aspirated package. Uh, and he's also getting a E351 transmission with a LSD. He's swapping from a, an older 3MZ V6 here. So I'll be, we'll be curious to hear uh, what he thinks about the 2GR over the older 3MZ. We got Josh's Turbo 2GR just about wrapped up. It's running and ready to dyno. All we have left is I got to fabricate a, an exhaust. We just have a little temporary exhaust sitting on there right now. I still have to fab the whole exhaust system. We have something a little different. We got the 2GR Spider here that we're going to dyno. You can see that Spider 2GR requires a lot of fabrication here. There's a panel that covers all this here. We'll show you the finished product. Let's see what this thing does. While we do a ton of these 2GR swaps, we, this is the first time we've stuffed one into a MR2 Spider. This one using the 6-speed EB60 transmission. A lot of custom work went into putting this thing in the Spider. Honestly, a little more than, than we had anticipated. You can see the engines is huge for this small engine bay. You end up with a lot of spare space behind, but not much in the front. We've had to make custom dipstick, as you can see here, because the dipstick would have been up in the cabin. So to be able to check the oil, we had to make a custom dipstick. A lot of custom coolant lines and hoses and brackets, custom exhaust, obviously, custom wiring harness. You could see up in the cabin how far that engine, how high it sits and how far in it sits. So we've cut a big access panel that uh, gets covered. We'll show you when the cover's on. We're about to start putting everything back together. ECU still mounts in the factory ECU spot. We did use the standard Frankenstein cast headers and the TCS Y pipe, and then we've made an adapter up to this vibrant muffler with two turn downs essentially. You can see coolant line, everything's cramped in the front. Lots of room to work on stuff in the back, but the front is not fun. See some of the coolant work up here. This has functioning AC, functioning uh, gauge cluster, all of that stuff works. A lot of wiring in this. Wink it. What kind of motor mount was on that side over there? All woods motor mount. Is it? Yeah. 
same one I had on mine. Probably the only person that makes those off this stuff. I don't think we really got any. Or was it Friday? Maybe? Not really. I mean, not as much as they were saying. No, I feel like we probably we probably did get an inch or two. Did you guys get any? How is the pedal wired in this? Is it in with the harness? Yeah. Got it. Got what? <laughs> What's left? We'll see with what. What year did you say this car was? Uh, 1990. You could well one. You could tell by the font. Yeah, right here. Yeah, they changed it a little bit. 92. Right. <laughs> Yeah, take your time, man. What, what was that for the alternator? I guess. Comparing the two engines, as you can see, the 2GR, much bigger. Much, much larger, but it's, oh shit, it's just sitting on, it's just sitting on wood. Out with the old, in with the new. This is why it's a good idea to upgrade the fuel pump when you bring your car here. Check this out. It's aftermarket fuel pump. The sock has vanished to the bottom of the it's down there I don't know if you can really see it but you can kind of see it in there it's deteriorated into the bottom so now I'm gonna have to get all that out it's a good reminder to use quality fuel pumps this will be getting a Walboro 255 so we got Rami just about wrapped up looks like uh AC's charged, tested, battery charged. Today we'll be uh, just taking him for a test drive and making sure everything's good. And I believe he's getting a dyno, so we'll dyno test it and see what kind of power it makes. Uh, Brian's out right now. I believe he's driving the Spider. Final test drive on the Spider. 
You can see we get some great weather out here. Wrapping up Rami's car, so we'll uh, dyno it here and see what she makes. Good. Well, whatever that dip is, it corrected itself. Yeah. 